There he is, Winnie the Pooh. Who doesn't love Winnie the Pooh? The world's most famous bear. Lindsay Maddox here today to tell us about a Canadian connection, a personal connection that you have. Uh, her book is called Finding Winnie, the true story be behind the world's most famous bear. So it all goes back to your great-grandfather. It does. So my great-grandfather was a British Canadian soldier. Uh, he was a veterinarian, so he, at the start of World War I, he enlisted to look after the cavalry units. And on his way from Winnipeg to White River, uh, he got off the train station and there was a trapper there. Mm -hmm. And he was selling a bear cub. And my great-grandfather, who loved animals, bought this little cub for $20. Which in today's money is like $500. It was a lot, exactly. It was yeah. almost $500, a lot of money back in 1914. Uh, but he bought this little bear and she became the mascot of his regiment. Uh, he took her across the Atlantic. Uh, she lived and literally slept under his tent on the Salisbury Plain where the Canadian soldiers trained for about four months. And when it wasn't no longer safe and he had to go to the front lines, he knew she needed a new home. Mm -hmm. And at that point, he brought her to the London Zoo and said, will you look after my pet bear while, until the war is over? And while she was at the zoo, A.A. A. Milne, the author, and his son, Christopher Robin, would go to the zoo all the time. And Winnie had this exceptional nature. She would, mm -hmm. They would let children into her enclosure. Kids would ride on her back. They would, she'd do tricks for them. Um, so Christopher Robin really loved Winnie and renamed his stuffed bear from Edward uh, to, to Winnie. And A.A. A. Milne took inspiration from her name. And now it's one of the biggest brands. I know Disney owns the brand right now, and they say it's the, the next biggest brand next to Mickey Mouse. That's true. Uh, and, and as well, the name Winnie comes from Winnipeg. Absolutely. So Harry uh, lived in Winnipeg, and so he named uh, her full name was Winnipeg, Winnie for short. And the idea was he wanted to keep home close to him, uh, heading off. And nobody had any idea how long the First World War would be. Nobody knew what would be involved. Uh, and I think that it was probably a bit of a, a, a nod to the comforts of home. I think every kid has a connection to Winnie the Pooh, and you wrote this for your son Cole. I did. So because this story has been an important family story to me forever, um, I wanted my son to keep keep it close to him, and so we named him Colburn, Cole for short. Mm -hmm. um, and I always had this idea that at some point I was going to need to share this amazing family story, and I thought it would be pretty incredible to do that as a picture book. Um, so a few years ago, I started writing. It's kind of been writing it in my head for years, um, but I'm, you know, really excited that this is truly a dream come true for me to have the story written and the illustrations are um, beautiful. Sophie Blackwell's my illustrator and she you know just put she was really destined to do this book as much as I was. Winnie the Pooh was the very first book she ever bought with her own money. E.H. Shepard was why she wanted to be an illustrator mm -hmm. in the first place so um, it's truly been kind of meant to be. It's meant to be and here you are on Remembrance Day and, and we have photos of your great grandfather here, where we're all paying tribute to those of, that have served. And I guess this is also a great ability to recognize those as well. It is. It's you know, it's never lost on me that this story, while beautiful and happy, is set in one of the most difficult and really, frankly, devastating times in our history. You know, 10% of Canadians, Canada's population, uh, was lost in the First World War. So there's a lot of sad stories. A lot of families today are sharing sad stories. This happens to be a more positive and happy story. And a big part of why I wanted to write this book was these these incredible photographs um, that are in our that are in our family of of Harry and Winnie and Winnie with his fellow uh, soldiers and his regiment. Um, I, I wanted people to be able to see those stories who, who love Winnie but who also are, are looking at the First World War and this is an important story coming out of it. Yeah, we want you to know more about that story as well. So the book is called Finding Winnie, the true story of the world's most famous bear. It's available at all bookstores pretty much anywhere and as well you can find it online. For more details you can go to breakfasttelevision.ca. Lizzie, thank you for coming and thank, thank you for you. sharing your story. It's a wonderful book. Thank you so much. I might just have to take this one for my kids. You can. Okay. Go for it. I'm going to take a break right now from <laughs> Breakfast Television. Can you sign it? Of course. Oh, awesome.